Hello, welcome to the Weekly Wind-Up with myself, Emma Kirk. Today I'm joined by a legend of the airways, a fabulous lady that a lot of you will undoubtedly recognise. Rosala produced one of the most iconic tracks of the 90s. Everybody's Free literally defined a musical movement transcending pop music and trans culture. Welcome to the show. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you, Emma. I did you like the introduction? It was wonderful. <laughs> I'm flying now. <laughs> wonderful. It must have been, like, when you wrote that or co-wrote that, it must have been quite a phenomenal thing to happen to you for it to be such an epic song. Yeah, well, it was written for me uh, by the band of Gypsies um, and uh, how I got together with them. They had my voice. I sent at the time cassettes. It was cassettes. And oh, they, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. <laughs> and they got back in touch with me saying, we love your voice. We got yeah. the perfect types of songs to do for you. And I met the guys and we got on and they said, what style of music do you want to do? I said, I just want up-tempo, uplifting, positive lyrics. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when the songs are played, I don't want anyone to sit down. I want them to stand up and have a dance or at least think, oh, the song makes you feel good. Mm. And uh, that's how everybody, one of the songs called um, Everybody's Free came about. Was that, the, was that the kind of thing that you were used to doing or was that quite a different genre for you? Uh, I always did dance music. Um, I was born in Zambia and grew up in Zimbabwe, so I always loved dance music. Yeah. And I knew that's what I wanted to do. But I also loved doing ballads because I feel my voice has got a different dimension to it to do ballads as well mm. as dance music. Mm. I remember the song being such an integral part of people's lives growing up. You know, how do you go from that particular kind of epicness yeah. to, to not to avoiding being like a one-hit wonder because there's always that sort of fear isn't there that yeah. you have this amazing song and then all of a sudden you, people kind of forget what's going on. <laughs> yeah that, that's true I, I hear you well, well when Everybody's Free first came out um, you know I had three big hits Everybody's Free to Feel Good, Are You Ready to Fly, mm -hmm. Faith in the Power of Love and those songs sustained me throughout the 90s and then there was a time when uh, the boy bands and the girl bands oh, yeah. started happening <laughs> and I was lucky if I got one club date to perform to uh, in two months. I, I just really? thought, yeah, I just thought this is over, you know. So I took up a beauty therapy course and I thought, you know, I got to keep working. And then uh, things started, you know, uh, coming back. I started being asked to do uh, club dates and I never totally gave up. You know, when you've got that burning fire inside mm -hmm. you. I'm a singer. It's, it's something I've always wanted to do all my life. Um, but I just don't want to ever come to a place and find... I've got nothing without trying something else. Um, what do you think caused that revival then? What, is, has there been a shift? Is it retro? <laughs> I, well, I, I, I have no idea. I mean, Everybody's Free seems to be one of those songs now where you have these young producers or young DJs that are remixing, and, remixing the track, sampling them, yeah. remixing the track, doing it in the back of their rooms and putting it out there on YouTube or wherever they can, you know. Um, and that, I believe, is one of the things that's helped to sustain mm -hmm. the profile of that song. And that's just created more work for me. Mm -hmm. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so how have you gone from that? I mean, you've got a, a new song come out. Yeah. How did that come about? What was your inspiration? Um, well, I wrote it. I co-wrote it with uh, Jason Prince and Nick Crittenden. And uh, I, again, uh, Nick did the music to it. And I loved it. And Jason and I were just singing. And my husband said to me, why don't you do a song that's sort of semi-biographical? Yeah. So in the lyrics somewhere, Jason sings, because everybody's free to feel good. Okay. And so it's talking about me coming to England, me not giving up, the fans always being in my corner and giving me, you know, the encouragement to not give up and turn on the lights and I'm out there doing my thing and doing my show and singing. You have quite a lot of uh, fans, I'd say, that are core and extremely enthusiastic <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you fans <laughs> i've met i've met jonathan yeah and he is so so positive about promoting what you're doing yeah you know is that something that you find is is it a kind of a uk thing for you it's so far it's been a uk thing i've got fans worldwide but jonathan you know thank you jonathan uh he's I met him about four or five years ago. He was he played the part of a concierge in one of my videos, and uh, we've been firm friends ever since. He's a, a big fan of mine, and he's been sending "Turn on the Light" to every single radio station, big or small, 
and you know about 50 of them have come on board and they've playlisted the track on the mm -hmm. A playlist and you guys are one of them I'm here mm -hmm. doing the TV show I'm, I'm so grateful for that and um, yeah it's just it's just incredible just incredible is there still the impact you say radio play is there still that impact with with fans with new fans that have maybe not heard your work before do you find that the airplay does get you that kind of download for the money <laughs> well for the money uh, you know to you don't make money from the sales it's the profile okay. you know it's keeping the profile and uh, again coming back to everybody's free it's one of those songs that's sustained you know so the money part comes from my live work you yeah. know unless I have to sell gazillions okay. then you know hopefully I'd make the money but okay. um, it's from the live work and, and going out there and, and doing performance but the, I mean, obviously, the more time I guess you get on air, the more people will c connect with that yeah, profile. Yeah, exactly, won't they? exactly. You you know, you don't know what other doors it could open. You don't know if it sold a gazillion copies. You know, that could make <laughs> me a very, very rich woman. <laughs> okay, we'll but, aim for a gazillion then. That's we'll fine. We'll aim for a gazillion. But you know, I'm I'm just grateful that because of everybody's free, it's helped keep my profile and the profile of that song. Yeah. And um, you know, has allowed me to bring out new material and people always go back and go, oh, Rosala's got a new song on, a new song out called Turn on the Light. Who's Rosala? Oh, you know that song, Everybody's Free to Feel Good. Sure. Oh, is that? Oh, okay, let's give it a listen. And so yeah. it's just all, you know. I suppose that helps because obviously you're not a new artist, are you? Yeah. You know, you are, you are as an artist people will know from that song. Yeah. So it's almost like that opens its own doors, doesn't it? Yeah, it does help. It does help. Absolutely. Absolutely. So where, I mean, I know I know you've been kind of touring around frantically the, yeah. the country, so thank you very much for popping in today. My pleasure, thank <laughs> you for having me, I appreciate that, thank you. Because you've been all the way to, so you've been in Hull, I know, you've been all yeah. over doing various different things. Yeah. Where Where are you going to be this sort of next month? This. <laughs> well, I know I've got two gigs this weekend. I've got, oh, two um, this weekend? Yeah, I've got two this okay. weekend. I've got the Let's Rock Festival, which is massive, and that'll be, um, in fact, a few miles out of Leeds. Um, and then later on, I've got the Cleethorpes Gathering, so I'll be performing there on the night stage. And the following week, I don't know where I am, but every weekend till September, I've got a gig in, a gig or two, and it's, it's been great, and that's... So I'm guessing there's not much time for beauty therapy right now. No, there's not <laughs> much time for beauty therapy, no. So I'm going in and hopefully having a beauty therapy treatment done on me. <laughs> Excellent, yeah, excellent. Yeah. So tell me about your uh, the video for the song. The video for the song uh, was done by um, Ash Stanley, who owns his own studio in Derby. And uh, when I sent him the song, you know, because it's an uplifting track, he sent me some ideas and had these lights hanging down. And, you know, it's like, turn on the light, let's do that, you know. So uh, he sent me all these wonderful ideas and, and we got to the studio, did some shots, walking around the streets next to street lights and so as long as there were lights in there <laughs> <laughs> hence turn on the light okay. uh, that's how okay. the video came about and so Ash an electronic kind yeah. of shop yeah. with light bulbs and yeah exactly exactly <laughs> so Ash got the idea down and I loved what he did and he put the storyline to it and yeah do you find that um, I when you're singing live obviously you know what you're doing you're a singer yeah when you're in a video it's kind of acting yeah. do you find it yeah. difficult to make the transition um, actually, no, not really. In fact, in some ways, it's easier because I'm miming. Okay. You know, so I'm not using too much vocal power and I'm just enjoying it. You know, at first, initially, obviously, like when I go on stage, I'm always nervous, no matter what. I'm always... After all this time, honestly, really? Honestly, Emma, I'm always nervous. And, um, and so with the video, I'm always a little nervous. Ash or whatever producer I'm working with puts me at ease. And you know, you've got the makeup artists on hand, uh, making sure you're not shining anywhere, the <laughs> hair. Yeah. And I just, you know, in front of the camera and I just do my thing and I think, let me do the best I can because once a video is out there, it's out there and there's nothing you can do about it. That's very true. So, you know, I just try and do my best and then I warm up and I get into it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are you, have you got anything else in the pipeline? Any other songs? Yes, in fact, uh, I've got, I'm working on an album. Um, so the album should be out. Uh, hopefully early next year because the plan is to release another two or three singles okay. from the album. Uh, I've got another two more tracks left to record which I'll be doing over the next month. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, so that's very exciting. Fantastic. I'm really excited about that. 
And if anybody wants to watch the video, yeah. how do they find it? They can go on YouTube yep. and just search Rosala. The mm -hmm. song is called Turn on the Light. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's available on all good online shops. Yeah. <laughs> and iTunes. And iTunes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> to download a gazillion times. A gazillion times and make me a rich woman <laughs> and I can buy Emma some Gucci shoes and you know. Yeah. <laughs> I like that idea. Yeah, I yeah, I thought much. you would, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for coming to talk to us today. Thank it's been you. an absolute pleasure chatting to you. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate that. I can't thank wait for you. the album. I do expect an exclusive heads oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> so gazillion. Let's come buy our Gucci Excellent. shoes. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very Thank much. you so much. If you wish to contact us about this or any other topic, our details are on the screen. I'm Emma Kirk. Goodbye for now.